Away we go. Match number 66 of 70 plus one replay. And nicely done. 27, 2102. Scoring a hatch panel in front of the half. Well done. And a blue flag waves for crossing the line during the sandstorm. That was a penalty against Blue for traveling beyond their half of the arena. Red is streaking ahead here. Again, the real-time scoring not quite able to catch up with what's happening on the play. There's a little delay associated with that here. So 10-point lead with about 100 seconds remaining for the Red Alliance. They extend that a little bit. Blue Alliance scoring cargo. Red Alliance as well. 20 and 84 playing a little bit of defense against 359. Now 359 on the far side. Nothing to worry about. One minute to go here. 45-28 for real-time scoring, largely on the basis of hatch panels, I think, for us. Good storing at the beginning of the match. Not really 100% sure why the lead is so great for the Red Alliance. Can cargo worth three, hatch panels worth two? Some issue for 2984. It seems to be incurring penalties on a regular basis. Maybe that's what's happening. Blue penalties accruing to the Red Alliance team. Now coming up on 30 seconds. And 84 climbing for the red, 359 going to do their lift here. Can they make it? Plenty of time, 20 seconds to go now. Three blue robots all doing the climb in unison. Nicely done here. And they're up, terrific. That's 12 points up on level three and six points each. That's 24 points you're looking at right there for the blue alliance. And that might put them into the lead here. Let's, let's hang on. So real-time scoring doesn't capture that. Side of the display for Team 2102, there's a yellow box and a red box. Yesterday, they received a yellow card. That's a flagrant foul and violation. In this last match, they received another one. So their score in this match actually turns out to be zero.